So, next construction project is, and episode 5 of this show, is how we're going to build picture frames for under 5 euros a piece. So, the first thing you need, go to the hardware store and get some trim wood. This is about 5 millimeters by 20 millimeters, and it comes in sticks that are either 2.5 or 3 meters long. And this is, well, this is actually 14 by 10 millimeters, but what I'm going to be using to make my frames today is 10 by 10 millimeters, and again, it comes in two and a half or three meter sticks. They cost about three euros 50 a piece, maybe a little less. I've already painted them to start with. Um, it makes the whole process go fast when I make frames. Um, I just bought some really cheap black paint. This is something I got at the local hardware store. I don't know what you use in an English-speaking country, but it's uh, some kind of just general paint that's a basically an acrylic-type paint. cleans up with water, and I can do the edges of the frames with it. You don't need anything fancy for this. Don't, don't waste good money on art paint. I have some acrylics that I use for my furniture and stuff. Um, no, you don't need that. Just get some cheap black paint. Or whatever color you want. Get some cheap red, red, blue, yellow, whatever. Something that you use for outdoors, um, all weather. And then if you really want to finish this off, I have some lacquer I can put on the end. Yeah, I just have some plain old um, acrylic clear lacquer. So, you can put that over it if you want to get like a satin finish at the end or a gloss finish or something. A little, a little bit of protection there, something like that. So anyways, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to make a little clip here where I'm going to show you how I cut the wood. Um, one of the things we're going to frame today is this painting here. Ta-da! And what we'll do is, is we'll cut two strips of wood that are exactly this length here, which is 55 millimeters. And then we'll cut two pieces of wood for the sides that are two centimeters, no, 55 centimeters, that are two centimeters longer than this dimension, which if I remember correctly here is 25 centimeters, so it'll be 27. That'll be for holding the frame, holding the picture in the frame when it's matted. And actually, it'll be bigger than that because, well, no, it'll be that size. And then, that'll be cut with these thin pieces of wood. And then we'll go one centimeter smaller in dimension. And this time, we'll run this one longer. And this one longer at the bottom. And these will be shorter in the middle. They'll be the exact length. No longer. And then we'll glue it all together using Uhu Hobby cement and a hot glue gun. So you can build these things in about five minutes. You let them dry for about five minutes with a hot glue, and it's solid. And then you let it dry for a couple hours with Uhu glue, and then it's really solid, and it's not going anywhere. And then you can use a little bit of that black paint to touch up things. I didn't paint the ends of these things because they need to be sanded before I paint them. So you do that at the last minute, but it's just a little bit of touch up. So anyways, let me do a little drawing here and I'll show you how this works. And then we'll frame one of these. So, see you later. Okay, so here I am on the floor cutting the sticks up and measuring them and doing all that other good stuff. So, I need four sticks that are 60 plus probably a little bit extra. No, not a little bit extra. 60 would be good. I always cut them about one or two millimeters longer. So that the picture fits in there. Yeah, sawdust flies everywhere, but you know what? I live alone, so I don't care.
That's why I have a vacuum cleaner. And the easy way to make sure all these are the right size is to just line them up like this. So we have those four sticks, then we'll make the other four the same way. The shorter ones, then we'll have two picture frames back stuff, then we'll cut the big ones. I'm not going to show you all the cutting, but you get the idea. It's really simple. Um, one thing to remember when you're cutting wood like this, when you cut with a saw, it's not a knife. It removes wood. That's why there's sawdust. So for example, if you want to cut a piece that's 60 centimeters long, you cut it 60 centimeters and what's left is going to lose at least a millimeter, maybe two millimeters from the saw. Okay, So these sticks are 2.4 meters long. I should be able to get four out of one stick, but see I got one piece that's left over that's like 59 and a half centimeters here. So remember that when you're cutting. Um, I save all the scraps because for smaller pictures I can use the scraps to make frames for smaller pictures. So, you know, once they get down really small, of course, I can't do anything, but until then, no problem. Okay, so part two. I've cut all the pieces, painted them, and I've laid them out here. I took the little blocks, and that's going to be the back. And this is the front, and everything's facing downwards. And so what's going to happen is... I'm going to line these things up and then glue them together. And basically, it's finished. So if you want to be really accurate about this, for example, these are four centimeters wide. So I'm going to come back three and a half centimeters. And same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to come down a half a centimeter because I allowed for a half centimeter border for everything. Okay, I got those marks. Now the rest of this is really simple. Take one of these pieces, line it up here. All you got to do is glue it. there and it's done and since I cut this a millimeter longer in each direction I always like a little space I'm going to bring this about a millimeter in each direction which I just did okay that's where it's going to go so I need some glue
so anyways, usually this is the stuff that I use. It's all purpose. Glue dries real hard. Sticks together well. So, just spread a little. smell. Reminds me of my childhood. Okay. And before you start hot gluing stuff, I would strongly recommend if you do this right, you should just be able to eyeball it. All go together. Before you start using the hot glue, I would go ahead and glue these in. So you can measure everything up by eye and see that everything is right where it should be. Now see if you got that right. If you cut everything square, there's no real trick to this. One in. The key is to just work all this stuff together. Make sure the corners are square. And like I said, if you cut things squarely, this should basically just go right together. The key is cut it squarely at the beginning. And make your measurements correctly. could just let that dry there and you have a frame. But I like to speed the process up a little bit. And there's a very easy way to do that. Get out your hot glue gun, plug it in, wait for it to warm up. I should have done this before we started. And anyways, you're just going to go along here, along the seams, and hot glue it. Now, the glue underneath, it won't be dry yet, but the hot glue will hold everything together while it's drying. And that, as they say, will solve that problem. So, once you're done... you got everything aligned because once you put this hot glue on here it's going to be a much harder thing to readjust. Take it.
touch up painting here. Next time, I might just go ahead and paint all the wood black. Make everything easier. Right there, everything comes together. Force a little bit down in these gaps if you have any. Secure everything up. Okay, now we let that dry for a few minutes. Really, it's probably ready to pick up right now, but the best thing to do is to let the hot glue dry for about five minutes, and we'll come right back. Okay, so I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes, and there you have it. Now, the mat will fit right in here. You can either use little clips here that you can buy at an art store that will hold these things in. They sort of flex and go right in. Or what I do, which somebody will probably tell me, no, don't do that. Since I have mat board here, I'll tack this in for about a centimeter here, a centimeter here, a centimeter here, a centimeter here. I'll tack it in with the plastic glue gun, and it's done. And if I want to take the mat out, I can just cut it with a knife, and the mat pops right out. So if I want to put plexiglass in later or something, then I have a frame with plexiglass. So it's not fancy, but it does make a nice frame for a print. It cost me about three euros fifty to make that, and it took all of about maybe. 20 minutes max, but then like I painted all the wood early and cut things into pieces and everything, but it doesn't really take very much time to make one of those. And so that way if you want to hang something on the wall, now it has a picture frame. And you could decorate this with painting or other stuff here on the outside of it. You can cover it with like a clear lacquer if you want a more finished look to it or something like that. I'm going to have to go back here and paint this stuff black. I like that shadow box effect. It looks good for what I'm doing. But anyways, that's how you make a picture frame. Enjoy. Okay, so this is dried. And that's what you got. Yeah, I can use a little touch up here in the corners. But it's no big deal. The Yuhu glue that'll take that'll take several hours to dry, but you can you can actually use this and hang it on the wall right now with that plastic, whatever it is, hot glue that they use. So all you do to finish this thing up is take your picture and put it in here. Like that. And then I just tack the corners down. Like I said, if you need to get this out, you can get it out. You just need a knife. It may not be the most archival thing in the world, but I'm not planning on selling these as super archival frames. I imagine if anybody decides they really want to keep it that long, they'll get it reframed. And 
probably remat it. However, the watercolor paper itself inside my mat, that's protected. It's all acid free, contact, the tape, everything. So the watercolor should be undamaged. This is only the mat board, which is actually called Thin Papier here in Germany. And it's a board that people use for matting stuff, and it's, uh, it's archival. So the only thing I don't know about is this hot glue. Anyways, okay, maybe this little paint touch up. No big deal. Yeah, it's like the only bad thing about this is just little glue strips. That's it. Frame painting. Frame painting. All done. And it only cost me about three euros fifty to make the frame. So enjoy. And so here's number two. Ta da! Looking good. And so now I'm done. And so, premiered on the wall, they look like this. If you can see that fairly well. It doesn't look like the focus is popping here. Well, I don't know. Anyways, there they are. They're on the wall. And it's a lot better than just putting a painting up there with nothing. So, enjoy. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Bye.